so this is just more that, you know, just one more race before I head out, you know. So happy and busy times for you? Yeah, <laughs> hard work too. Well, it's a good to fast two miles, so you see how you are for the rest of the season, like, you know, for the time of the year. You began 1990 very well in the Phoenix Park. Yes, it was a good 10k. I wish this now was another 10k, but um, it's a bit sharp for me now today, but I'll see how it goes. It's tough. <laughs> There's a lot of competition down here. That's why I'm trying to do, start, start to run a lot of races down south, because there's nothing up in the north of me, you know. Uh, the big race uh, last weekend at Molusk came third came in that third, cross yeah. country. Bit of a difference running on the road, though. Yeah, it is. What do you prefer? Um, cross country. Well, it's a great road race because it's well organised and it usually comes a good time of the year. It's a good chaffing for the national cross country. So there's always great competition here, so you're sure of a good race. Good race it should be with athletes of the calibre of Patricia Griffin there who's setting off in front alongside Louise McGrillen. Theresa Duffy from Belfast is on the right of the picture as they head down the Burr Road into the centre of Tullamore. Three and a half K round the streets of the metropolis of the Midlands. And as usual, they'll find a sizable number of the local citizens have come to the pavements to watch them on their way. Louise McGrillen has an awful habit of going off very fast and then paying the penalty later on. A girl I think who looks very comfortable at this stage is uh, certainly Theresa Duffy. She's a girl who we thought was going to run for Ireland last year. She's finished fourth in the National Cross Country Championships, but then changed her mind. But Patricia Griffin, Patricia's been running fairly okay. She was in the Icadon Relay in Barcelona, as was Connie Kelly. But I think the distance here, 3.5 kilometres, might be slightly short for both these girls. I think possibly more suited to somebody like Theresa Duffy. Well, Theresa Duffy is certainly prepared to uh, stick with the leader at the early stage, throwing down the gauntlet to the more experienced field behind her, and already just half a mile down the road there, well strung out. The races at Tullamore are always famous for the very fast starts. They've got a circuit of the town to do and then back up this road. That'll be the three and a half K and it'll be interesting to see just who sticks the pace best. And there's Theresa Duffy who has already at this early stage of the contest moved into a commanding lead. But we know she prefers cross country. We know she's effective over the mud, but how will she do over the asphalt of the Tarbacadam in Tullamore? Behind her, Patricia Griffin and Connie Kelly not giving it up yet. Looking at Theresa Duffy, I can't help thinking that she's actually more suited to the road than possibly the country. A couple of sharpish bends on this circuit, but nothing that should proved too uncomfortable for the runners. And of course the circuit is much the same year after year and such as Connie and Patricia, they've been here before. But Teresa Duffy making it look as if Tullamore is her home ground. And Connie Kelly taking the shortest way, cutting the corner. Teresa Duffy, I wonder if she's tiring. She's a quick glance over her shoulder to see other girls catching her. It looks as if they're closing the gap. Still it's Teresa Duffy holding on to the lead, but uh, Patricia Griffin has mounted an attack and Patricia Griffin just marginally in front at this stage. They do, though, have a bit of an incline to come past the National School and then up the Burr Road, back to the Harriers. Has Patricia Griffin mounted her challenge too soon? Theresa Duffy digging deep to attack the girl from Baltimore in County Leitrim. And Connie Kelly grimly hanging in there. It looks as if Theresa Duffy is actually making a break for home. But she's got to remember that Patricia Griffin in her day was a 400 meter runner, so she's possibly thinking that maybe Patricia could want a serious challenge if they turned into the home straight. But this is beginning to look like Theresa Duffy's day and Theresa Duffy comes home first into the Tullamore Harriers grounds ahead of Patricia Griffin and Connie Kelly is still there in third place and they really do have quite a margin to spare on the fourth place athlete. But what a performance for the 20 year old from Belfast. Theresa Duffy wins it in the colours of Beachmind Harriers in Belfast ahead of Patricia Griffin from Ballinamore and another gutsy performance bringing Connie Kelly home in third place. Very good running indeed by those three who totally dominated the event. Fourth is Karen O'Doherty, Dublin City Harriers, ahead of Siobhan Gallagher from Donegal. And behind her, Olive Bollard. The distance just proving too short for the 10K specialist. But an outstanding victory for Teresa Duffy. Well, Teresa, you did it. Yeah, I can't believe it. 
a marvellous performance. You, you uh, decided you'd throw down the gauntlet at the start and try and... I did, yeah. See, from the start of which I've got to break away from them, you know, and that's what I like to do, but they just come after me and then they got away from me and then I got back at them, you know. I thought you'd had it there when you were running through the houses. Patricia Griffin got back. Yeah, she did. Connie she as well. Very, very strong, yeah. So what was it? How did you manage to recover from that? I just got to sit on their heels, you know, right till the finish. And Patricia... that's what I did. Connie, you totally underestimated yourself. You had us all believing you're going to struggle to get in the top six. Uh -huh. Well, it wasn't easy. I had to fight all the way. Most days they had to go up to lead, but I was back in cycle again, so I finished up the club and I'm pleased because I didn't think I was that sharp. You know, a very young girl, won it? That's right, she's a duffy, yeah. She's still only a junior. Yeah, so it must please you when you're somebody who's obviously got that kind of uh, physical advantage. It pleases me, but I still have a lot of work to do for the Nationals. Out of the men's event, a feature.